why here? Why come and play junior with them? But I wasn't sure about, you can never be sure about how much you play, but I didn't, I don't think that I was gonna really have uh, a, a good opportunity there. So I was looking for different, different ways to become better. And Ottawa just said to me, well, because uh, in the European trade for OHL, basically as a European, you have to show interest to get traded. Otherwise, they're just wasting a pick. Yeah. So they said, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna tell Oshawa that you're interested and because we think they'll be a good fit for you. Uh, we like DJ as a coach and I, we think he will, he'll get you to places where we want you to go. And a couple of weeks later, I was drafted by Oshawa Generals and I went over in the middle of August. And didn't really know what to expect. Or The only thing I knew about the OHL was that McDavid played there. So I, I knew it was like a, a highly skilled league and and uh, there, there were some good prospects there, but other than that, I had really had no idea. Balco wants to shoot. Can't. Castles gets it back to him. Ernie has no stick. Lindbergh scores! Oshawa ties it on the power play. Uh, well, we came out uh, from the beginning of the season with, with DG as the head coach, and he said clearly from, from day one, this team has the potential to win a World Cup, so anything else would be a disappointment because uh, he already done it twice as a assistant coach. So that was from day one, our, our goal, and uh, we made some some stuff happen at the trade line, trade deadline to really set us up um, and stack our team, and we made it happen. Well, we certainly, you know, as, as I've said repeatedly, have an outstanding uh, scouting staff. Uh, with Mark Hunter and his group, and uh, Mark had him uh, very high on his list, uh, and you know we felt very comfortable that when we had to select the players, whenever you put this type of a transaction together, that he was the one individual prospect that we targeted, and, and uh, he became part of the deal. So, you know, uh, he's a size and strength uh, forward, and he'll be given every opportunity. Uh, he'll be reporting to the Marlies, uh, certainly, uh, but we're, we're looking to see exactly how he'll fit into our prospects that we have. I've just heard from, from DJ when I got here that he had a little, a little finger in the trade, I guess, uh, just because he knew who I was and even Sheldon knew who I was because he coached in the OHL last year, so uh, I think that was a good thing for me, so they knew who they were getting and what my potential is and what kind of player I am, so um, I think that helped too. They have more more resources here in the Marlies. Uh, they have a skills coach here every day and, and Barbara, the uh, skating coach, is here pretty much every day. Um, so you have like just the ability to, to go out and half an hour earlier and, and, they, and they even watch your video, the skills coaches, and say this is what you need to get better at. Uh, so I, I've, I've loved it. Um, it. Makes me become a better player and see things that that maybe I don't really catch and, and he sees because he's that's his profession. Uh, so um, I just think it's a great thing to uh, to do with with young players that need to develop and learn learn new things to be able to play in the NHL. So I think it's a great thing to have going. <laughs>